Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel. I'm Sean in Hawaii. I recently bought a new Triumph Bonneville T120, and I want a high security lock and chain to secure it at night. I don't want to be riding around town with a 20 pound chain and lock wrapped around my waist. So I got two chains. Both of them are the cinch type, or as some call it, the noose type. One of them is this nice heavy duty kryptonite chain. Oh, it's a beautiful chain, it's really nice. I wrap that around my frame and my back wheel, and I take that with me when I ride. But when I get home at night, I want something even more secure. So I got that second chain. This one's a, a big Lufu. Never heard of it, but that's what it's called. Both are thick, heavy chains. The big Lufu was much less expensive, but it's a similar sort of cinch type chain, and I loop it around this, this very sturdy lamp post. I, I park my motorcycle right under this bright light between a cinder block wall and my car. To make it more secure, I use both locks to secure the chains together. Now any lock can be defeated, but it takes time, and the more locks you have, the more time it will take a would-be thief to steal your bike. Now let's take a look at these two locks. I bought the kryptonite lock and chain together from Amazon for $110, which is below retail. The lock is an Evolution Series 4 disc lock with 14mm steel shackle and a 4.25 foot or 130 centimeter 12mm chain. I realized a 39 inch chain wasn't going to be long enough to secure the frame to the lamppost, so I bought a second chain and lock. The Big Lufu, 4 foot long, 3T manganese steel, 15 millimeter chain. It's much cheaper on Amazon. This is a lock it came with, so let's compare them. First of all, you can see the Big Lufu lock is much smaller than the Kryptonite EVS4. It's also substantially lighter. The Big Lufu comes with four keys. They're the good kind, but they're not quite as complex as the Kryptonite keys. But they are the kind that are more difficult to pick than the old school flat key locks. The kryptonite comes with three keys, one of which has a built-in LED light. Now I'm struggling here to hold my phone in one hand and the lock in the other, but I'll try. Okay, I'm pretty sure I could pick the big Lufu lock in a couple of minutes, and I don't really have that particular skill. I just think that Tumblr is that easy to manipulate. It looks like uh, Wall-E from this angle. Oh, it's cute. But cuteness won't keep your motorcycle safe. And as I said, the big Lufu is much lighter than the EVS4. That's because there's less metal, just a few metal parts inside a plastic case. The kryptonite is plastic on the outside, but that's just to keep it from scratching your motorcycle. Yeah, it's cute, but not very sturdy. Not a lot going on inside this plastic shell. A hammer will break it, I'm sure. The kryptonite is much more substantial. It has a reinforced anti-drill steel shackle and kryptonite's anti-pole protection system, whatever that is. Now, there's a very popular YouTube channel run by an attorney with mad lockpicking skills who demonstrated how to defeat the kryptonite EVS-4 in about five minutes using a propane torch and a screwdriver, heating the plastic parts so that they soften enough to turn the metal parts with a screwdriver. Now those butane torches are loud and bright and tend to draw a lot of attention. Five minutes is a long time to be out in public drawing attention yourself. Try standing on the street corner some night shouting, I'm a thief, I'm a thief. I think you'll find that five minutes is a really long time. But again, if the thief really wants your bike, they're going to get it. All you can do is try to make it more trouble than it's worth to them and hope they move on to the next bike. Now that famous lock picking barrister did mention that the more expensive Kryptonite New York disc lock addresses the blowtorch problem by surrounding the tumbler with metal parts instead of plastic. Now, I have three locks on my Bonneville when I lock it up at night. One chain going through my wheel and frame connected to another chain cinched around a heavy lamp post. I also have a wheel lock which is easily defeated but it adds time on the clock leaving the thief exposed and in danger of being caught. The more obstacles they have to overcome the more likely they are to look for an easier target. My hope is when they see my bike under cover under a bright light parked between my car and a block wall with three locks on it unless they absolutely have to have a Triumph T120 they're probably going to decide to walk a few doors up and take my neighbor's shiny new Indian that isn't even locked. Well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to click like if you did, and don't be afraid to subscribe.